Let's look at troubleshooting some common issues. Gunite automatic slack adjusters are self-adjusting. This means that no manual adjustment is required except during the initial installation and at the time of a brake reline. It's important to recognize that when the pushrod stroke of a brake is longer than the adjustment limit, you've got a defective brake rather than one that is simply out of adjustment, which may be the case when vehicles used manual brake adjusters, but it's not true for gunite automatic slack adjusters. There are a number of brake conditions that bear close monitoring. Brake problems can include the adjuster itself. For example, it might have worn linkage, pins, or bushings. If the pushrod stroke of a brake is longer than the adjustment limit, do not manually adjust your gunite slack. Doing so under these circumstances could have serious consequences, creating a false sense of security about the effectiveness of the brakes, which could go out of adjustment again soon. In addition, adjusting your gunite slack manually may result in premature wear of the adjuster itself. When troubleshooting, check the power stroke as previously discussed. You'll know that your gunite automatic slack adjuster is functioning properly if the 90 to 100 PSI brake application is less than the maximum legal stroke limit, as shown here. If the chamber stroke exceeds the maximum legal stroke limit, you should take a free stroke measurement. Free stroke is the amount of movement the slack adjuster arm requires to press the brake shoes against the drum. With the brakes released, measure from the face of the air chamber to the center of the large clevis pin. Then apply pressure using a lever to activate the slack adjuster until the brake shoes make contact with the brake drum surface. Then take a second measurement. Free stroke is the difference between the released and the applied measurements. The free stroke should be between 3 eighths of an inch to 5 eighths of an inch. A dragging brake condition can occur if the free stroke is less than 3 eighths of an inch. If this happens, repeat the manual adjustment process discussed earlier. If the free stroke is greater than the recommended distance of 5 eighths of an inch, it is important to perform a function test of the gunite slack adjuster. To conduct a function test, place a 7 16 inch box wrench or socket on the hex extension and adjust the brake linings up to the drum, then rotate it counterclockwise 3 quarters of a turn. A ratcheting sound should be heard. Mark the 7 16 inch hex extension with a paint pan or chalk, as shown here. Next, apply the brake several times, watching the hex rotation. The hex extension must rotate clockwise. The adjustment is intentionally made in small increments, so it will take several cycles to bring the adjuster within the maximum legal stroke limit listed in the chart. If the power stroke is greater than the maximum legal stroke limit, the free stroke is greater than 5 eighths of an inch, and the function test shows that the adjusting mechanism is working, Check the clevis pins, clevis pinholes, and the arm bushing for wear. If any of these components are worn, replacing them may bring the brake within the legal stroke limit. Now let's look at torque. You can check the clockwise and counterclockwise torque by attaching a torque wrench to the hex extension and turn it in the clockwise and counterclockwise directions, recording the measurement. The clockwise torque specification is a maximum of 10 foot-pounds. The counterclockwise torque specification is between 15 and 50 foot-pounds. If either of these torque specifications is violated, then you must replace your gunite automatic slack. If your gunite automatic slack adjuster passes the test for free stroke, function, and clockwise counterclockwise torque, and the brake does not meet the maximum legal stroke limit, check the foundation brake. Review it for worn cam bushings, pins and rollers, broken springs or drums, and worn clevises, clevis pins, and arm bushings. Repair these as necessary and repeat the function test to see if your gunite automatic slack adjuster now meets the maximum legal stroke limit. If the clevis pins are seizing, this is often the result of corrosive environments. If seizing pins are a problem, they should be replaced with stainless steel pins.